Hello there. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to calculate the tack time and the number of workers required for a work cell. This question corresponds to problem 9.10 in your text. After an extensive product analysis using group technology, Bob has identified a product that he believes should be pulled out of his process facility and handled in a work cell. He's identified the following operations as necessary for the work. The operations include shearing, bending, welding, cleaning, and painting, with standard times ranging from 1 minute to about 3.1 minutes. The customer expects delivery of 250 units per day, and the workday is 420 minutes. This question has three requirements. The first is to determine the tack time. The second, to determine how many employees should be cross-trained for the cell, which is essentially the number of workers required. And third, which operations may warrant special consideration. So starting with the tack time, the tack time is simply the pace of production in order to meet customer needs. And the formula is quite simple. It's the total work time available divided by the number of units required. So in this case, we have 420 minutes available and the customer requirements are 250 units per day. That equals 1.6 minutes per unit. The second requirement for the number of workers required is equal to the total operation time divided by the tack time. Well, if we look at the sum of the standard times and the information provided, the total operation time is 8.01 minutes. So what we'll do is we'll take the 8.01 minutes and divide it by the cycle time of 1.68 minutes we just calculated, and that'll give us 4.76, but you can't have a partial worker, so that rounds up to 5 workers. As for any special considerations, well, if you look at these times, you'll notice that the cleaning operation takes substantially longer than the other ones. That might lead us to wonder what's going on there and why it's taking so long in comparison to the other operations. Is there a machine constraint task? Is there a lack of cross training or something like that? So this is something an operations manager would want to pay more attention to in order to help develop a nice smooth pace of production. And that's how you calculate tack time and the number of workers required for a work cell. 